hey, how's it going? So today we're gonna to talk about working for a crazy person. You wanna be working for a crazy person, do you know? Is that something that you would ever wanna do? You know, work for a crazy person. And we're gonna talk about what that means in a second. Let me just lock up the door here because I'm heading to work this morning. You know, I still have a job. I'm out here in Montreal and uh, heading to work. Just thought I'd show you the experience of walking down the stairs here. But, you know, the thing is that you gotta be working for a crazy person. You can't be just, you know, working for regular people. And that's, well, so first, before we get into a little bit more, let me just ask you, so do you, do you work for a crazy person? What do you think about working for a crazy person? Let me know where you're watching from, if you're watching the replay, watching the live, and uh, let me know where you're watching from. I'd love to hear from you. All right, so let me see if maybe I think the screen is a little bit messed up here. Or this, this lens up, that's better. Yeah, so you gotta be working for a crazy person. I certainly work for a crazy person. And that's what this is all about. What do you think it means? Let me know, put a comment below. Let me know what you think I mean by working for a crazy person. Let me know if you think that makes sense or not. To be honest, I think most people will think it makes no sense. Why would you want to work for a crazy person? You know, why would you want to work for a crazy person? Crazy people do things that make no sense. Crazy people do things that other people wouldn't do. You know, crazy people do things that that others look at and they say, my God, that person's crazy. They should be in the loony bin, right? So why would you want to work for that person? Well, all right, well, what I'm talking about is working for you. And you have to be crazy. Because if you're not crazy, and you just try to do what everybody else is doing, things are probably not gonna work out. You gotta be willing to you do things outside the box. You gotta be willing to, to go out there and do what others aren't willing to do. You gotta be willing to put in time that others aren't willing to put in, right? You gotta be crazy. You gotta be the person that people look at and think, that guy, that gal, oh my God, what are they doing? What are they doing? What's all this? This is so crazy what they're doing. They're doing these things that make no sense to me. And you know, the reason why that is, is because you know the statistics, right? 95 to 99% of people who try to build a business fail because just because that's I don't know what well, no I don't really know why that's just the numbers it's for real right if you look up statistics on any kind of business and especially you know home-based business network marketing that kind of stuff those kinds of businesses are even worse because the reason is that it's so easy to get in there it's so easy to start it just takes nothing right like just a couple hundred bucks or whatever 500 or something to get started hey Ray how's it going are you working for a crazy person I bet you are so that's the thing you know you got to be working for a crazy person and like I said earlier that crazy person you know is you you have to be the crazy person you have to be working for yourself you have to be willing to do things that others aren't willing to do you know and it's not easy if you're not able to see that and realize that then you're probably not meant for entrepreneurship because Entrepreneurs are the people that, you know, go beyond the limits, that go and do things that others think make no sense, right? That's the person that you got to be. You got to be the crazy person. You got to be working for you. And that's what it means to be working for a crazy person. You got to be working for yourself. You know, I've been listening to self-help development. I listen to stuff all the time. I've been learning. Every day I learn new stuff and that's this crazy idea, this crazy idea of working for a crazy person. That came from a call I was listening to from Ron Gilock and he was talking about, he wasn't actually saying that you should be working for a crazy person, he was actually